So I've been back now in Belgium about four days and after that I was in Bali, uh, literally stuck there. Creating this vlog here, I wasn't completely sure how to do it, just in the circumstances of everything that's been happening. Like the intent of, the original intent of this vlog that you're watching right now uh, was to actually create a vlog out of Nusa Penida. Yes, I was uh, spending there a week of time. So, I am in New Sapanida, in this uh, very lovely place here. Gonna be here for seven days. A friend of mine is actually joining me tomorrow. Let me clean that here. Yeah, mainly just gonna take some days off from work and uh, travel a bit, see some stuff here on New Sapanida. It's uh, not a huge island, so I don't know if seven days is an overkill, uh, but you know, there's uh, always enough things to do and see. I wanted to make actually just a vlog about Nusa Penida and show all the cool things that, well, that you can see here. Uh, but then basically things just, uh, you know, with the coronavirus started happening and uh, everything started closing. So I had to leave earlier from the island. And uh, basically then I ended up being just stuck in Bali for uh, already after being there two months uh, being stuck there for another month as no flights uh, were going out to Belgium. Since we are going through this thing uh, COVID-19 all worldwide together uh, I thought to maybe share a couple of my thoughts uh, in this vlog and I'm not saying with that that I'm gonna be able to resolve your problems. Some of you watching are going through def uh, probably like some very, very rough times. And uh, yeah, this is not a, oh, a customized solution uh, that I'm, you know, providing here with what I want to share. Uh, so keep that in account. So things changed a little bit faster than I thought they would have uh, because of, well, the coronavirus. I am actually going to be stuck in uh, Bali for a bit. I had a couple of thoughts on the whole you know, coronavirus and what we're all going through now. As a mental health professional and working together with a lot of other mental health professionals, I want to share some, just some things, some tips and just a couple of pieces of, of advice. First of all, mental health wise, you know, because this is causing a lot of stress, a lot of fear, you know, the fear is creating the stress. And, you know, fear is coming out of, you know, not knowing what's going to happen. Uh, you know, fear about everyone's health, about our health. And definitely, like, financial, you know, stress as people are really suffering from that, right? You know, in these times where you don't have control, take control of the things that you can take control of. And I always follow that rule myself uh, in every possible situation, right? You know, if I fall down, for example, and I have a big wounds, I'm not just going to look at it and complain about it. I'm going to look at it, going to accept the fact that I've fallen down, that there's a wound on it, and I'm going to do what I can do. I'm going to focus on what I can do. And in this just example, right, 
I'm gonna look at the wounds, examine it, and apply just, you know, things to help it heal better. With the example, just looking at the wounds and complaining about it doesn't move you further. So if you're just gonna look at this whole coronavirus and, and how, you know, in whichever way it's affecting you and you're just gonna complain, sit with it, uh, cry, you know, that's not gonna help in the end. It's not gonna help you move forward. So do what you can do. Do the things that you have control over. The rest, you know, that's out of your control and that's where you have to accept it. So that's one part that I wanna, wanna say. And the other part is that, you know, coronavirus is just a hot topic everywhere, right? And, you know, of course, um, but you don't per se need every, every day this bazillion of messages about coronavirus on, you know, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, everywhere on the internet, in the news, you will, everywhere, you will read and listen and hear and see something about the coronavirus. And it's not like I'm saying it's not important to keep yourself up to date, um, but just reading and, you know, just every day about it isn't per se going to do you good because for most it's creating stress and fear and worries and that's actually lowering just your own well-being. And this is not to say that you have to deny that it's happening. That's not, not, that's not good either, right? But it's sort of uh, not going to the extreme either that it's all uh, helpless and that we're all gonna die because that's not true either right so the both extremes aren't in no no scenario in life are good so try to go into the middle you know where there's balance here with this too I would suggest I would suggest personally you know whatever you do with it that's up to you but to um, uh, get off social media a little bit uh, don't go on it every day. Um, and if you, you know, want to have some positive news, actually, or just positive news around the world, there's an actual Instagram account called The Positive News. I believe it's called like that. Either way, I will link it in the description. Uh, but it's just good news from around the world. And right now, uh, you're just reading some positive things about coronavirus. And again, this is not to deny the fact that it's happening, but uh, to... to to get things a bit more in balance. Last point that I wanna, wanna put out here, go and improve your immune system, make it stronger. Having a good immune system is all to do with very basic things. Having enough sleep, super important. Eating healthy, which means just vegetables and fruits. Uh, having the right nutrients, you know, and drinking enough water. And, and like I said, not going too crazy with all this negativity because it's lowering your your happiness level and it's lowering your immune system and there's very basic and easy things that you can do like uh, breath work uh, the Wim Hof method for example which is like um, a cold exposure great for your incredible for your immune system I interviewed on the IPS podcast um, actually uh, Rich uh, Ailing so he's uh, a Wim Hof instructor and he explains the whole methods and all the scientific benefits of it and how it is it's incredible uh, to improve and strengthen your immune system and right now at this time this is so critical so i will link that uh, podcast episode in the description of this uh, vlog uh, but besides that you know doing yoga doing meditation these are very easy things that you could just start with right now help to improve the immune system and then another great one is actually humor so laughter the benefits of laughter are insane they are so positive they are just crazy and i actually made a video uh for the youtube channel of the ips project uh which goes very in-depth about the benefits of laughter and uh how you can actually laugh more. So I will also link that video in the description of this video. It's by having a good immune system that you can fight off this virus. So that's why it's so important to take care of your mental health and of the mind and the body. So you have the right resources inside you to fight this off, okay?
I don't think waiting lines are gonna be a problem. <laughs> this is probably the quietest I ever will be, I think, in an airport. There's literally almost no one. It's uh, insane. So yes, this is the little journey going back to Belgium, part one. Arrived at the airport, <laughs> succeeded in that. Uh, and um, my flight is still scheduled so far, so that's good. And now I just have to wait a little bit for the gates uh, to open up, because, you know, there's no rush in the end, <laughs> which is fine. That's mainly what I wanted to share actually here. Uh, and other than that, if there is anything that is on your mind that you want to put out, put it out there in the comment section below. I am truly want to be here as a support for you. Uh, and if you have any advice or any tips or things that you've done through these last few weeks now that have been specifically helpful for you, share it out, you know, there as well in the comment section below. And uh, let's help each other, you know because um, that's how we're also going to get through this. So that's it here uh, for this vlog and I hope uh, it's helpful what I said and that uh, the extra resources that I provide uh, in the description can be of help to you as well. How can this road be so bad? <laughs>